Hey guys, I am here at a crappy hotel in London uh, near Paddington and I thought that I would show you guys some scandalous stuff that I just figured out. This is my, what, third day in England and uh, as it turns out, I can't go from one country in the EU to another country in the EU without having to get another wonderful SIM card. This is actually my second SIM card for the UK. Um, Orange didn't work at first, so they put me over on T-Mobile. It was like five pounds, which is not bad. Uh, considering I paid in cash and so I like that kind of internet where I walk in and I pay in cash and I get a SIM card but it doesn't come without T-Mobile's idea of the internet and let me demonstrate to you guys why I care so much about internet freedom so here I am just on the hack5 forums checking out some posts and whatnot and in the upper right hand corner of my browser you'll see this little uh, I don't know pyramid or something and this is not script I love not script in fact you can go ahead and see here. You guys can um, pick yourself up a copy, not script, no script, same kind of basic idea, Firefox, Chrome. And uh, if there's JavaScript on the page, we can go ahead and run it or not run it, and it's pretty great. Like, for example, you can see here on the um, Hack5 forums, there's Facebook integration if you want it. I never allow it. So, But then I started seeing this, 1.2.3.8. In fact, if I uh, pull up another website, let's go to yahoo.com. So here I'm uh, on Yahoo, and interestingly enough, again, 1.2.3.8. And so I'm like, what is that? Because I'm not allowing it. And, uh, well, Google seems to think it's safe. Upon further investigation on Stack Overflow, it turns out this is actually something that's specific to T-Mobile. You see, I'm tethered with my phone right here on T-Mobile, and they've decided to take it upon themselves to add a little script to 1.2.3.8 slash whatever whatever dot JavaScript and insert that at the top of all of the HTML files. All of them. How freaking wonderful is that? I'm being man in the middle attacked by my carrier. And this is why we can't have nice things. No, this is why we need a truly free and open internet and why we shouldn't um, put up with this kind of crap. And actually, you know what? It's um, partly my fault because why would I ever browse the web just naked through whatever my carrier gives me anyway? I really should be using Tails for everything or Tor or an SSH tunnel or a VPN. But I got lazy and uh, I discovered some interesting stuff. And I just, I wanna hear your thoughts on this topic because sure, they say like, oh, well, you know, Vodafone and, and T-Mobile in the UK are doing this to optimize web pages. Um, yeah, I don't want your optimization. I don't care what it is. I don't want your script running. Uh, and that's pretty much just the way I feel about it. So uh, how do you feel about it? Let me know in the comments and I will continue hacking across Europe. Uh, see you on the internet. Cheers.